This is James Helder for IFL TV in association with Matt Jim Jim Mark Bayer. I'm on the phone for you Arena Stay on the Matchroom card. Uh, with me, I've got Sam Eggington. What's happening, Sam? Um, a lot, mate, at the moment. <laughs> a lot. Now, now I say, first and foremost, congratulations on the fantastic victory over against yourself. <laughs> a right, really, mate. really great fight to watch for the fans. Can you talk me through it a little bit? Um, it was a nice fight, it was full stuff. Um, we're coming to the fight, I was trying to stay at long range, catch him, move, catch him. Like, a bit like, obviously, I'm not Frankie Gavin, I'm nothing like him, but that sort of thing, you know. Catch him long, like straight shots, yeah. get, like move out of the way, angles. Um, and it did, it started off like that, it was going well, and then I started to um, go back to how I normally box and try and stay inside, and it weren't working. And he caught me a few times, I don't know what round it was. Might I think be it was a fourth round. Was it? Fifth round. Fifth round. Yeah, the fifth round. And he caught me with a few, and I was. I stood there for a bit, I don't know how long it was, but it felt like forever. And then. Backed you up on the rope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I remember letting him hit me in the head, just putting my hand down, letting him punch. Was that where you was a bit dazed and just not trying to get? Nah, to nah. To get I, I, do you know what? I, I've done it before, and I, I just I don't like until I realise I'm doing it. I like it's just like a, a habit. Like you hit me, carry on, carry on. If you want, do you know what I mean? It's a bit daft. I'm not, but I do it. And, um, after that, I had a right bollock in the corner. Is that with John Pegg? Yeah, John Pegg, Soggy, Kerry Kays, Max, and. They was all telling me, Lisa, don't play silly, silly games, you know. Try and do what we, we, we come here to plan to do. And I, I kept trying it, and it didn't work out as, as good as the first three rounds, but it, it got me through. Denton Vassell, former Commonwealth champion. The guy yeah. is well renowned for grinding out victories and breaking people down. So you must be pleased with the way, Mate, at 20 years old, you've just took this guy on and, um, and come out victorious. It couldn't have ended any better. After last night, even about Jerome Wilson, I mean, obviously I'm glad Denton's walked out of the ring happy and cool. he's going home. And, yeah, yeah. But he couldn't have ended any better for me. I've come here, I've done what I've had to do, and I'm going away a happy man. Do you, know? do you think the ref was right to jump in? I, when he I didn't think stop so. The fight? From what I remember, obviously because it was in the fight and it was fat, I, I was, I, by the time the ref got there, I'm sure he was sitting on the second rope. That's what I remember. I don't know how, how right I am because it was obviously I was boxing. From where I was, I couldn't really see because the referee was would be in my line of vision. Was yeah, well, I thought he was it. sitting on the second rope. And to be fair, if it was me sitting on the second rope and Denton Vassal was going at me, I would have liked the ref to stop it. That's so, an honest answer. I, I think it was all right. I mean, Eliminate. I'm not going to cuss the ref. <laughs> Eliminator for the English yeah. and the British. Yeah. So now, w would you be looking at Armit Patterson? He was in action last night. Fantastic. fantastic. I heard about it. I know you're it. quite I anyone. I know that, but will your team, should I say, be looking at Armit Um Patterson? We'll have to see what happens. I mean, obviously, Frankie's got the British. If, if the British is if, if fighting for Armit, he's fighting Bradley Skeet. Mm. So if that don't come up and Armit Patterson's looking for an opponent, then why not? As long as someone's on the line, I want to. On a box. I heard Barry Aaron say to me once, he loves dealing with you, same as Eddie, because you will fight anyone. You don't ask about money. No. You just say, yeah, let's do it, let's get it on. I just, I just don't, I don't, like, I don't know how to do it. I don't know. I just can't see how. If someone's offering me a big fight, I'm going to take it. Although, if I, if I weren't going to take it, I don't see the point in being here. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm training every day. I'm out of the house most of, most of the day, most of the week. I've got to be doing it for a reason. So if someone offers me a big fight, it's pretty pointless doing what I'm doing if I'm not going to take it. So I take what they give me. Highly respected trainer John Pegg, who works with you day in, day out. Oh, yeah. He said to me, You came in this gym at the age of 18 and told him, Have a look at me, I want to be a journeyman. Yeah. That, that was his exact words. Yeah. To me. Can you confirm that's true? Yeah, yeah. Um, it was just before Christmas, and we'd, we'd got, uh, me and my girlfriend were just had our son. Well, I say just had our son, he's about six months old. And I lost my job. Because I'd quit boxing by then, I weren't boxing amateur. I weren't even looking to go pro, I never thought about it at all. And um, a lot of people was talking to me about white collar. Obviously, I skipped that. Um, I went, to, I went to John and I said, "Listen, I want to earn some dough. Get me on the road." Unbelievable. So, as I said, 20 years old. I'd like to see people kind of getting you the right fights at the right time now. So yeah. Because once you grow to a man, who knows the potential? We'll see. Up, and I don't mean that bad. I mean once you start yeah, yeah, getting older, yeah. with, you know, with your strength coming and yeah. that. Yeah. Um, we'll see. I mean, Barry likes what I'm doing. I think Eddie's coming round to the to the idea. <laughs> So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm, I'm happy to take a fight when it comes. Yeah. So. Do you think you find it harder being well, potentially people talking about you and ranting and raving because your name is Sam Eggerton? Like the Sam Allardyce theory. If his name is Sam Allardyce, people will be talking about him a lot more. Do you think you have that problem? <laughs> I 
don't know, man. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. No, do you know what I mean? There's a reason Kid Galahad's called Kid, Kid Galahad. Yeah. And not Barry Abdul. Yeah, well, I didn't change my name for the boxing. That's just what I was, that's what I was given <laughs> at a young age, so that's what I kept. Well, yeah, I suppose so. People like to say my name, try and pronounce it, I suppose. Yeah. No one gets it right, but... Uh, go on, how do we pronounce it, go on? Eggington. So it's not Eggington? No, it's E double G, I N G. Not, not, not E D G. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be dashed, wouldn't it? <laughs> That'd be sad. It's a fantastic performance. So the whole crowd was so appreciative of the fight. It was great yeah. to watch, and seeing you both come out safe and embrace yeah, it, yeah. and they did it. It, said, it was a great, yeah. great moment. Yeah, it's a good fight, mate, and I'm, I'm glad I got the win. Looking ahead now, how long till you're back in the gym? What will be your plan now till you're back in training? Um, the doctor said these take seven days, so I suppose I'll be in the ice for seven days and. I don't know, do nothing, a few runs maybe, no promises, um, and then see what happens, see what happens, I mean, as soon as I can, as soon as I can um, train, without this hanging over my eyelid, I'll go back to the gym, do a few, a few pads, a few bags, and just start getting on the, on just back fit, I suppose. If for some reason a British title shot came available for you, sir, would you grab that now with both hands 100%, or would you wait? 100%, I'd grab it, yeah. I'd have to. Because it'd be daft otherwise. I've just fought an eliminate. I've not fought an eliminate for no reason. That's right. I could have fought a six rounder. Do you know what I mean? I fought an eliminator to get a shot at the British. So if that was offered, mm. I'd, I'd take it both hands. Do you think Denton Fazell can come back from this? It's a very tough defeat for him to take. Yeah, I suppose it is a tough defeat for him to take. I can't comment on what Denton Denton's going to do. I respect that. Um, but it was an odd fight. It's not like he, he was shot. I didn't go in there and take him to bits and. He and was he in just, the fight, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, do you know very, what I mean? Very, very equal. Yeah, it was very, like, it was a good fight. I thought I was up by a few rounds, but it was never, like, you know, see, you see people go downhill overnight, and it, was, it weren't like that, he weren't shot. I can't comment on what he's going to do, but I, I think he could, he could come back. I mean, people have had more losses in a row and come back. So. Listen, congratulations on an emphatic victory, as I said. Cheers, it's, mate. It's really good to see you, your journey and the journey and progress you're making. Come to a lot of people's attentions during your semi final prize fight, your second appearance yeah. in prize fight. So, as I said, fair play to you, mate. Cheers, mate. Catch you real soon. Cheers, Sam. Thanks a lot.